Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel Life with Klikai. As you can see here, I'm in the middle of a dog sandwich. I've got Copper, my youngest Alaskan Klikai, and Sky, my oldest Alaskan Klikai. Now I've covered a lot of information about Alaskan Klikai and I've done a lot of dog challenges on our YouTube. But I thought today I would talk about something that's a bit closer to my heart and that is how Copper and Sky have helped me with my anxiety and my panic attacks. So I started getting panic attacks and anxiety towards the end of 2017 and it was just when we had picked up Sky, and she was still a little puppy at that stage. And it took me three or four months to even come to terms with the fact that it was anxiety and panic attacks that I was suffering from. At that stage I thought I literally had heart problems and I was constantly saying to my wife, I'm about to drop dead any day and it was constantly felt like I was living every day on the absolute edge. And it's actually kind of a shame in some ways because those first three or four months with Sky, I do remember them but they also feel like a bit of a blur because I was so worried all the time about my anxiety. She did help in terms of obviously providing me a company, especially when my wife was working. And they do say that by stroking a dog it can reduce your anxiety and your blood pressure. But I think at that early stage I was so far into it that I hadn't even acknowledged what I was going through and it wasn't really helping at that particular point. So then we got into 2018 and it was getting a lot worse and eventually I ended up going to the doctor and the doctor suggested I went on medication, which I did, but that only put me into a deeper sense of depression where I lost all my energy. As someone that helps run free websites as well as all our social media, I usually have a lot of energy and a lot of drive to get things done every single day. But for those three or four months, I just felt like I was constantly asleep. During that time, we did end up getting copper and that was probably after a couple of months of me also on medication so I was still feeling quite low at that stage and I also started to go to therapy and that really did help and while things such as meditation didn't particularly work with me what I did learn was that getting out and going for hikes where we lived in the Bay Area at the time was a great source of relaxation for me and I would bring Sky and Copper and we'd spend two or three hours every single day finding different spots around California to hike and I think the sense of spending time with my dogs, sharing a bond with them, creating memories together and just getting to the top of mountaintops and taking a break and sitting there for 15 minutes and admiring the view, breathing, relaxing all together. And by the way, when I say getting to the top, that meant carrying copper some of the way because when he was much younger, he hated hiking. So I'd have to put him in my carrier bag and me and Sky would hike up, I'd be carrying copper and he wouldn't want to get out until we reached the top of the hill. So we get to the top and then of course Copper would come out of his bag and he would run down the hill full of energy and full of beans. But slowly during those months of doing the regular hiking and doing lots of exercise with Copper and Sky, I started to get out of the hole that I had found myself in and I started to appreciate the things that I had around me. So it was actually something that I added to my day, making sure I got outside and did some exercise with Sky and Copper and I found that was better than any medication I could have taken. It slowly helped me to feel better, feel better in myself, reconnect with nature, to breathe, to appreciate my surroundings. So that's something that I've taken forward over the past couple of years. And to this day, Copper and Sky and me all go for regular walk. Now, obviously during lockdown, it's been a really challenging time for everybody and it can be a real test of your mental health. And during this time, Sky, Copper and I have started getting up at five o'clock in the morning and going for early morning walks around one of the big parks in London because I find that's the best time when it's still quiet and it's not too hot because obviously right now we're in the middle of a heat wave to appreciate what you do have in front of you, appreciate the green, appreciate the birds, appreciate just experiencing a bit of nature with your dogs. So I wanted to do this video just to basically share with you that I have gone through mental health problems and if you yourself are struggling with any kind of anxiety or panic attacks I think it's important to realize that you're not alone. A lot of people do experience and struggle through this. So basically I wanted to give you guys some ideas in case you are struggling during lockdown and during coronavirus for ways that you can help reduce your anxiety. And I would definitely suggest taking your dogs for a daily walk is obviously gonna help. Maybe going somewhere different with them, walking a little bit further, going to a park that you've never visited before. It could also be just inside the home, doing some dog training with your dogs. Make sure that you take a break from technology and put your energy and your focus into your dogs and that can be a great source of mental relief as well. Obviously, if anyone has any questions about Sky and Copper, feel free to ask me, or if you'd like to talk or learn more about my personal experience of anxiety and panic attacks, and if it would help make you feel better about anything that you're going through, you're always welcome to reach out to us at Life with Klee Kai on Instagram. We're also obviously on YouTube and we're on TikTok. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. So cheers, guys. I think I'm gonna wake these guys up and listen to my own advice and perhaps go for a walk. Go walkies?